So today we're gonna to be talking a little bit about Spider-Man 2's DLC. Now, I was really excited for the DLC. I thought we were getting it 100%. With the first Spider-Man game, which released back in 2018, we got three DLCs. Because we got those DLCs, I almost thought it was a given that we were gonna be getting them for Spider-Man 2. And then we had this big Insomniac leak a few months back now, and there was information regarding DLC. One of these so-called information screenshots showed a beetle infestation DLC, and if we were remember they were also people that like data miners that found this information as well like a new menu with the beetle dlc then we had one uh on extreme carnage we had one on the spider-verse online game so there was a lot of these like ideas and stuff that we were going to be getting but now it has been confirmed by insomniac that there is no dlc plans for spider-man too. And it sucks, especially because, you know, we had the leaked trailer for the Spider-Verse online multiplayer mode that the game was going to have, and that got canned, right? And so am I super angry about that one in particular? Not so much because I like to concentrate mostly on the story, single player uh, stuff. But the Spider-Verse looked really good and it looked almost complete in terms of that trailer. And the idea seemed like it was going to be executed properly. Now, there was a big debate among a lot of fans at the time whether we were really going to get that Extreme Carnage DLC or we were going to get a Venom DLC. And so there was a lot of debate and we were just waiting for Insomniac's confirmation. But I think mostly 99% of the fans are extremely disappointed in this news um just because it took them so so long to confirm that there was going to be no DLCs and i think that's really really stupid now if somewhere along the line since it's released they decided to move away from the DLC then that's something that should have been told to the fans a lot sooner right they they don't announce this PC release and make it a big deal and then throw in oh yeah but you know we're not going to get any DLC is that absolutely bullshit you know we had in spider-man 1 for insomniac uh, one of the best superhero games out there right and it was a great spider-man game in particular and we just wanted to see more and now did spider-man 2 live up to the expectations for some it did for some it surpassed it and for others it didn't right because the story maybe felt a little too forced maybe it felt a little too fast paced for what could have been a more fleshed out story a more deep story and you know sometimes miles morales didn't necessarily feel like he was a big part of the story he kind of got pushed to the side and for some fans it was just bad pacing for me in particularly i prefer playing as peter parker most of the time but yeah sometimes it did seem like miles was kind of just there but his story wasn't as engaging as uh peter parker's so then you know that that's a whole nother ordeal but with spider-man 2 maybe not being the game that many fans wanted or expected at least we had more dlc to look forward to and maybe the beetle infestation dlc could have been something that opened the gates for new types of boss fights and introducing a character that not a lot of people are familiar with and of course carnage you know was teased heavily venom was teased heavily and so we could have had something any type of DLC, maybe just one with either Carnage or Venom. And that would have been really cool because it was already there. It was built in and, and it should have been something that we could have done. I think you have Insomniac who's so successful. Insomniac who's PlayStation's, one of PlayStation's biggest studios. They have a lot of money. Couldn't they have taken some resources and just concentrated on making a DLC for us, for the fans, for the people that bought the game, for the people that expected it? You can't come out with one game and throw three badass DLCs and then bam not one single one for the follow-up for what was to be a follow-up to one of the best playstation games ever made and nothing happens it's disappointing and it's dumb and it's weak from insomniac and i love insomniac like i i i i love them because they're a good studio they make good games and they take their time and they deliver quality and so this is disappointing from them i just think that a lot of fans were blindsided i think a lot of fans should have known this information sooner if we're expecting dlc before the game even releases address that address that question you know from the gate hey we're planning dlc hey we're not planning dlc we are planning dlc but things may change later down the road you know, you're quiet on that front, quiet, not not a peep from Insomniac when it comes to this. And then, bam, they just drop that. The DLC is canceled. I just think it's absolute bullshit. And I think this makes Spider-Man 2 overall not a failure because the game was successful. And I'm excited to see what happens next. But it definitely, if I had given the game, say, an 8 out of 10, 
this brings its overall score down to like a seven six just because i expected more and i wanted more not because of some petty reason but because it's insomniac and because it's spider-man and because we the fans are used to good high quality shit from them and so when they do something like this it's kind of like a kick in the ass and it really really sucks so those are my thoughts what are yours mm -hmm.